guys, I'm Steve from Rhino Max Campers and I'm here to introduce you to our latest incarnation, the Renegade Hybrid. Now, the Renegade Hybrid, although it's based on our massively popular Scorpion Micro Hybrid, which has taken Australia by storm, what you'll actually find is it's quite a lot bigger and it is packed with a lot of the features that we have in our bigger hybrids. So this one sits between the 10 foot and the 14 foot. This is 12 foot. I think you'll agree once you see it, it's quite amazing what we've packed into it. Let's get into it and show you what it's like. Okay guys, let's get into how it sets up. And let me tell you, this is ridiculously easy to set up. Okay, first of all, we're gonna pop the roof up. We've already put our stabilizer legs down. So now I've got two roof catches to undo at the back. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go inside and just push the roof up. Pull the step out, open the door. And then as you can see the roof just goes up no problem whatsoever so that's how easy it is to pop the roof up next we're going to open the awning okay now that we've got the roof popped up the next thing we're going to do is open the awning and again like all Rhinomax stuff it's very very easy to do winding pole and we're just going to wind it out Well that's it, now we're pretty much set up under the shade and the next thing we're going to open is the kitchen. Now guys, this is where one of the major differences between the Renegade and the Scorpion will appear. Now the Scorpion has quite a small kitchen in it, but what we've done is we've designed this new kitchen for the Renegade which is based off its bigger siblings, the Discovery and the Defender. So let's have a look and see what you think of it. Very easy to open, just undo the latches. The door drops down. We'll lock the slide. Kitchen comes out. Large bench space with two wings. Uh, I'm just gonna put that over there. Um, a great three burner stove. Massive cutlery drawer. An under uh, cupboard compartment for your dish cloths, your washing up liquid, that kind of stuff. A sink with uh, a hot and cold mixer tap. Uh, watch this. The tap actually flicks over, so if you want to fill a kettle or a water bottle or you just want to wash your hands, you turn it over, switch it on, away you go. No actual need for an outside tap on this camper. Then, behind the stove, we've got two large storage drawers. Now, because these storage drawers are behind the insulated panels, whatever you put in here will stay cool. So if your fridge is full, great for stowing vegetables and things like that, keep them nice and crisp. Just to finish off, we also have a fridge slide in the front box. It pulls out. Now, this particular one has an 82 litre Evercool fridge on it. Um, opens up with a back opening lid. Fridge freezer, perfect. I think you'll agree, it's a pretty good kitchen setup.
Okay guys, I'm gonna just run you through the front end of the camper here uh, and the front box and what's entailed in it. So as you know, it's got the fridge which is housed into here, if you've got that. Now, we also do the option of a wood box on the top or we can do bicycle carriers, swag carriers, you know, things for carrying carts, whatever you want, we can adjust the top of the box for. But it does have to be said, this is a fantastic option for, you know, carrying wood, dirty tops, that kind of thing. Now you've got then a couple of jerry can holders on here and then a lockable gas bottle box. So your gas bottles are in there. I only need four and a half kilo bottles because everything that's within the camper is energy efficient. So you don't need to be lugging around 20 kilos of gas. Um, and as you can see, all locked away, nice and safe. Jockey wheel for leveling up and down. Then you've got the front of your drawbar here. Now the chassis, it has to be said, this, this chassis rail here runs right from the front of the camper to the back. And then there's an integrated subframe runs throughout that. That gives the camper its strength, a hell of a lot more stronger than your traditional kind of on-road caravans. Your hitch is the Cruise Master D035 um, off-road hitch. And as you can see, along with the handbrake, it's sunken into the actual drawbar. Well, the benefit of that is if you're gonna hitch a Ute onto it, or you're gonna hitch a Prado or a Land Cruiser, all your doors will open, no problem, while you're connected and you've got full access to your car and full access to your actual box. Um, great turning circle, uh, and again, the ball weights on these are very, very light. Around about 110 kilos on the front of here, so I think you'll agree, you know, it's great for most of the sort of lighter weight four-wheel drives and everything. Okay, guys, let's take a look at the storage on the uh, Renegade, and I think you'll agree when you see it, there's quite a lot in here. So we start off with this great big storage pod here. Now, I'll just open it up, release the compression locks, drop it down, and in here, you have a huge compartment, which is great for storing tables, chairs, all that kind of stuff. You've then got a battery compartment separated here. So all your equipment is very easy to get to, your fuses, switches, all of that. If you ever need to get to them for maintenance, absolutely perfect. Then we come up here and your porta potty, which is in the uh, storage compartment here, it can come out of here, go into the shower pod at the back if you want to use it, or alternatively, as we said inside, you can lift the seat and utilize it inside. But very easy for emptying and access and all the rest of that. Now, you think that might be all, but it's not. Even on the front of the box here, look at that more storage in there. So you've got a fridge in the far side, but in this side, you've still got heaps of space for a generator, a Weber barbecue, anything like that. Okay, also on this side of the camper, we've got our water filler cap here. So this one uh, comes standard with 110 liters of water, which would be in that tank there. And then a separate one here, you can have another 85 liters if you so wish. Um, and that one's plumbed separately as well. You've got a water pressure reducer here. What that does is, if you've got access to town water, say you're on a caravan park or something like that, you can plug in. No matter what the pressure be in the town water, this little gizmo here reduces it to a safe level for the camper. Great, no worrying about your pipes blowing out or anything like that. Now, we've also got here um, what we call an external water drawer, or you may know it as a creek drawer. You plug a hose in here, pop it into a jerry can, a bucket, or even directly into a creek. Flick the pump on and that will draw water straight up through there. It'll bypass your tanks and go straight through into your hot water system, your sinks and everything else. That way, no contamination within your actual tanks. Now, here we've also got a 240 power inlet because this camper does actually come with a full 240 power system. So again, if you're pulling onto a caravan park just for a couple of days to refresh, plug straight in there, your whole system's up and running. This is your uh, gas hot water vent outlet. Take that off when your hot water system's running, everything's perfect. Okay guys, here's what Rhinomax regard as the best and easiest shower pod within the industry. And probably the quickest to set up, I think you'll agree when you see it set up. So, undo the two catches. 
and then your pod will rise as you can see on the gas strut. Now we've got a sealed set of hot and cold taps in the back here and hose and rose which just screws on. So that just goes on, pop it up there and then you've got four clips to undo at the back to undo at the front stick a peg in each corner and that's pretty much you large opening door which if I just roll that up and then you will be able to see how big the actual pod is inside. This is a double shower pod. So if you're wanting to use your portaloo inside here, it's not a problem. You've got various pockets for putting your shampoos and soaps in. You've even got a light all built in. Everything is self-contained. I think you'll agree, pretty easy and great for remote camping. Okay guys, you've seen how easy the shower pod was to set up, now let's show you how easy it is to pack up. All we're going to do is close the door, and then, just in reverse order, put the clips back up. Tuck the ends in. That's it, ready for closing. Just get the air out. Make sure everything's tucked inside. Clips on. That's it, easy as can be. So here we are inside the Renegade and there's a surprising amount of room inside here considering the size of camper and remembering that it's only a 12 foot camper, not much bigger than a camper trailer. This is achieved by clever design. So we have the bed here which lifts up into the roof and this reveals a great lounge area here plenty space to seat three or four people comfortable and then you've got a, a leg free swivel table here so this will move wherever you want to place it it can go out your way uh, and then that reveals underneath the bed we've got two large storage drawers great for putting your clothes and things like that in uh, while the bed's up there's also this great big bench or table space here, so you can utilize that with magazines or whatever you may want to put on there. And then, on top of all of that, at the rear of the camper, we've also got a great storage cabinet and bench. So let me take you through that and show you what's in that. At the back of the Renegade is a great um, draw cabinet and rear bench space. Um, quite a wide rear bench there and as you can see on this particular model we can even do TVs, we've got an induction cooktop in there, um, you've got two 40 power points, 12 volt points, USB points, you've got a stereo system with twin speakers on the back, we have a stainless steel sink with hot and cold mixer tap, uh, water flow meters, a switch panel here, 
and a vast array of drawers at the bottom, which are quite big, reasonable good sized drawers there. And in the far end, there is also a, um, a great storage cabinet in there. So as you can see, you've got quite a bit of space in the back cabinet with inside the camper to keep all your clothing and knickknacks and everything else. Um, now there's one more surprise that we've got within the camper and that's the uh, underseat port -a -loo. So I'm going to show you that next. Okay. This is a great little um, feature that's in the actual Scorpion and the uh, Renegade. So this seat here, we can lift the seat off, just like so, move it out of the way, and then you reveal a port -a -loo. So you can use that in situ there, or there's a door at the back, a hatch, so you can take it out, use it in the ensuite or at night time the ladies may want to use it internally etc it's a great little idea okay so what we're showing you here is we're showing you the renegade in the the nighttime mode with the bed down so as you can see i've quite comfortably got a great seat here loads of room we've got a full queen size bed area here um quite good headroom and everything else we could still got access to our windows and blinds so we can open them if we want to let air in we can pull the fly screens up push the blinds down and we've got all the windows above very nice airy nice sleeping space okay guys um, one of the great things about the uh, Renegade, the same as all Rhinomax campers, um, is how quick they pack away. So you've been out, you've had a good time camping, last day, you don't want to waste it spending hours packing up, five minutes will be packed up and out of here. So the kitchen first, just in reverse order, drop the lid, pull over the bench, slide it in and lock it I'm just going to lock the all the drawers for traveling lock the catches put the fridge away now all we've now got to do is wind the awning in up the legs and we're pretty much done Okay, the awning's very, very easy to put away. It just winds back in the reverse of how we came out. Watch how easy this is. And that's it. Now all we've got to do, pop the roof down, raise the legs, hitch it to the car, and we're gone, out of here. So the roof's quite easy to come down again, just in reverse. How easy was that? Put my two clips on. That's it, 